So this is Acasa's O2SC12, the static pressure version of the SF12 fan which we had a look at a couple of weeks before. But before we do this, let's take a closer look at the SC12 in comparison to the SF12. To make it easy, it still has the industrial look going with a couple of heat dissipating holes in the central area. The fan can still be pulled off into pieces to have a, a easier access for cleaning because that, that is needed nowadays. The same nice yet slightly unnecessary rubber mounting pins are included as well. It is still running on PVM and the fan can still be placed inside a sandblasting machine and then thrown into a pool without failing to work properly. So generally, there are quite a few similarities between both fans, and if you want to hear about all of them, I would suggest to go watch the SF12 review first, otherwise I would just keep repeating myself. That being said, what are the differences between them? Well, the SC12 is the static pressure optimized version, meaning that its main target is to push the air harder than an SF12, just a bit less. The most obvious part where this is noticeable are the wings. Compared to an SF12, the SC12's wings are longer and bent more, allowing to push the air a bit harder. On its spec sheet, the SC12s are spinning at 2000 rpm while pushing 95.68 CFM at 3.84 mm of H2O. So now when the SF12 video is already out, I can finally compare those two head to head. And until now, I am still baffled about how it's possible that there is little to no difference between an SF12 and an SC12. In the end, the static pressure models get a whopping 0.25 mm of H2O, while the airflow model is getting 1.34 CFM more, that's close to nothing. Or if you look at it more positively, both of them have amazing specs. But Specs do not always translate into performance that well, so let's take a look at that. Letting the SC12 spin at 2000 RPM, they managed to keep the 37 x at 45 degrees C, a full 2 degrees C better than the airflow focused SF12. First one's a win, time for the next one. On the noise normalized front, the SC12 managed to do something that no fan has done until now. It did not thermal throttle. And I don't even know why. While the SC12 started off just a bit quieter than the SF12, they did not have that huge of a noise to performance downfall due to the fan not being, not being able to get any quieter in lower speeds. No, what they did is they never let the 3700X spike to 100 degrees C. But before you might think that this is due to them being kind of magical and spitting unicondas all over the case, they do not go under 1100 RPM, no matter what I do to that slider. This explains why the SC12 just randomly stops at 67 degrees C without moving in any direction. And that's not a good thing. Everywhere on the product page, Akaza is stating the fan it has to be spinning between 0 and 2000 RPM. Zero. Of course, not every fan has like a total fan stop function. For some reason that's considered to be a feature nowadays. But usually the minimum is somewhere around 2 to 300 RPM. Whereas here the minimum just seems to be 1100. This also has the side effect that we still have that annoying whistle blowing sound that we already heard on the SF12 and I am not able to get rid of it or the still present fan noise. As the graph shows, the fan never reaches the noise floor, not even close. However, if we look very close, there is actually a tiny whiny moment at which the SC12 is able to outperform a Fantex T30 in its performance mode. Sure, it's just a mini segment, but still, better is better, so it's, it's not that bad at all. Additionally, the SC12 is clearly advertised as being a heatsink or radiator fan, whereas our way of testing fans is kind of a hybrid between static pressure and airflow testing with a slight tilt towards pressure. But still, if you would test all of these fans on only radiators, the results might look a bit better for these kinds of fans. In the end, I am still coming to the exact same conclusion as for the SF12 fans. They have ridiculous specs. They come with ridiculous features and because of that, I believe these should be considered 
industrial or like real power devices like a 3U server with water cooling. So that text saying industrial application is not so much for a fun fact as it is a clear guideline. And considering their performance they should be doing a pretty good job being installed inside some really cool sand blaster. And also because a 25 euro price tag is normally reserved for a fan that can operate at basically noise floor not because they can withstand what we are about to do to them. Anyway, now it's time for the dumb stuff. Just like the SF12, these are rated for IP68, so at least one meter deep. And because these are meant to be for radiator usage, as Akeza points out quite often, I believe we should also treat them as such. To give you some sort of explanation, this is my usual test bench using a Ryzen 3900X and this is the Xilence radiator from the Liquor Riser uh, 360 AIO with a bunch of these, yes, with a bunch of those uh, SC12 fans on them. And right here we have our good old friend random box filled with water. And of course I will monitor everything and we'll see what will happen if while stress testing the CPU with CPU-Z and uh, hitting the CPU as, as hard as it does with the SC12 spitting at roughly 40-50% of their fan speed if the temp will go down if I submerge the whole damn thing because the fans can take it. I just hope nothing dies. Well, the answer is yes, it goes down significantly. <laughs> okay, so now we know that uh, putting a radiator full of SC12 fans into water while it is running does lower the temperature. That was quite the revelation here. <laughs> okay, this should be it for Akeza's uh, SC12 fans. I'm really sorry, Akeza. At this point, I would like to thank them for sending them over because they are waterproof, it's amazing. But if you want to keep watching, have a look at Akeza's Airflow Focus Order fans, the SF12 fans, in case you have not watched the review yet. On a side note, we also have a Discord server, so if you want to join, link is in the description below. Anyway, thank you for watching and hopefully see you in the next one. Bye bye.